Urta va muka, shwana asna. This pose is also known as the upward facing dog stretch because it resembles a dog stretching its hind legs. Lie on your stomach and place your palms to the sides of your chest. Keep your fingers and toes pointed. Straighten your arms and raise your upper body and thighs off the floor. Draw your shoulders back and push your chest forward. Turn your head back, stretching your back as much as you can. This is the final pose of this asana. Stay in this pose for 10 to 20 seconds. This asana makes the spine strong and supple. Now, first slowly bring your head down and then bring down your body. Relax on the floor for a few seconds. Sarvangasana. Sarvangasana, or shoulder stand, is also known as the queen or mother of all the yoga asanas. Lie on your back. Bend your knees and bring it towards your chest. Raise your hips and legs off the floor. Support your back with your palms. Straighten your legs and keep them together. Let only the back of your head, neck, shoulders and upper arms touch the floor. Keep your toes pointed. Remember to breathe normally. Stay in this pose for one to three minutes. Sarvangasana promotes growth and health and refreshes the body. It improves the functioning of vital organs, glands, and nerves. To come out of this pose, bend your knees and come down gently. Relax your body. Shalabha Asana This asana is also referred to as a locust pose. Line your stomach and keep your arms by your sides, the palms facing each other. Join your legs and point your toes. Raise your head, chest, arms and legs off the floor simultaneously. This is Shalabha Asana. Stay in this pose for 10 to 15 seconds. Breathe evenly. Don't let your thighs touch the floor and do not bend your knees. This asana strengthens the muscles of the back, the hips, and the back of the thighs. Slowly bring down your body and relax. Bhujangasana.
Bujanga means a snake. Therefore, this asana is also known as the cobra pose. Line your stomach with your palms to the sides of your chest. Keep your fingers well spread and pointed. Join your legs and point your toes. Raise your torso off the floor. Keep your arms straight. Stretch your head back and arch your spine as much as you can. This is Bhujanga Asana. Stay in this pose for 10 to 15 seconds. This asana helps to remove stiffness in the neck and spine. Now slowly bring down your head first and then your body. Relax. Dhanurasana. It is popularly known as the bow pose because the final pose in this asana resembles a bow. Lie on your stomach. Bend your knees and hold your ankles. Push back to raise your head, chest and thigh off the floor. Try and bring your head closer to your feet. Curve your body as much as you can. Stretch your arms like the bowstring. Stay for 10 to 15 seconds in this pose. Dhanurasana makes the spine elastic and expands the chest and lungs. Now slowly leave your ankles and come down. Relax your body. Urdhava Prasarita Padasana This asana translates to upward extended feet pose. Line your back, join your legs and keep them straight. Stretch your arms overhead with the palms facing up. Keep your head, shoulders and arms firm on the ground. Raise your legs 30 degrees off the floor. Hold it there for 10 to 15 seconds. Then raise your legs further to 60 degrees and stay there for another 10 to 15 seconds. Avoid jerky movements. Then raise your legs to 90 degrees perpendicular to the floor. Stay there for 10 to 15 seconds. This asana trims the waist and strengthens the organs of the abdomen. Now lower your legs slowly by staying at 60 degrees and 30 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds each. Finally, bring your legs down to the floor. Don't crash land. Do smooth and steady movements. Relax your body. Ananta Asana This asana represents Lord Vishnu resting on the snake Ananta. Hence it is also known as the sleeping Vishnu pose. Lie on your left side supporting your head with your left hand. See that your body is in a straight line. Keep both legs straight. Bend your right leg. Hook your right toe with your right middle and index fingers. Then raise your right leg so that it is perpendicular to the floor. Do not bend your knees. Stay in this asana for 10 to 15 seconds. This asana strengthens back muscles and makes the hamstrings elastic. Now slowly release your leg and lower it. Roll onto your right side and repeat the pose. Stay for another 10 to 15 seconds. Slowly release the leg and bring it down. Relax your body. Shavasana. Shava means a dead body. 
Hence, this asana is also known as the corpse pose. Lie down on your back with your legs apart. See that your body is in a straight line. Keep your arms by your sides, slightly away from your body. Keep your palms turned up. Close your eyes and keep your chin pointing towards your chest. Breathe normally. Relax every part of your body starting from your toes. Stay for two to five minutes. This asana relaxes the nerves and the brain, removes fatigue and calms emotions.